That is the only time, though, that you can do that with a preposition. Are you okay? All right, let's look now at a thing. All right, let's take a look at, so we're talking about describing a woman. That's a person. Check out the second example. The music, the music was good. Second example, we, we listened to it. Thomas, where is the object of the preposition? Where's the object of the preposition? Up here. Uh, that's nice. Where's the preposition? Oh, sorry. Uh, to it. Good. So we're looking at this. What does the it refer to up here? I refer uh, to uh, music. Okay. So I know. Now I know. I'm going to take this and I'm going to pop it up here. Okay? And I know I'm going to get rid of this and use, use a relative pronoun to describe music. Okay? And the same options are available. So can you create a sentence? The music is the music we, we listen. listen. <clears throat> okay. Which listen. we listen was good. Listening to was good. Watch. 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 So he did the music. He did nothing. Yeah. No. Or we can use that or which. Yeah. Alright, what if, now, now notice, listen to this, it, it went on in the, right after the verb, okay? Did you just come and fix that after so? No. No. We do not. Um, so, there's one more way we can do it. The music to which good. we listened was good. Okay, notice. What did you put? Which. Good. Just oh, the which. So listen, it's the same situation as the person one, only this time the formal, the which, okay, can, it's the only one where you can put the preposition in the front like this. <coughs> okay? Yeah, you can say, the, listen, you always have to have the preposition, okay? You always have to have the preposition. The question is, where do you want to put it? If you want to put it before the relative, you have to use the which relative, okay? Otherwise, it goes right after the main verb, okay? And you can use the other options. So I can say the music which we listened to was good, the music that we listened to was good, the music we listened to was good, or I can say the music to which we listened was good. And that is really formal. I feel like I'm eating tea and crumpets with Arida at a British tea company. Okay? Everybody okay? Take a look at A. Let's practice. It says... Is everybody okay? Yep. Uh, this is a lot, yeah? But, and, and listen, once you learn the options, uh, you're good to go. It's just going to take some practice. Let's, let's practice. Look at it. It says choose all the possible completions for each sentence. So, look at one, two, three, four, and you tell me, circle all of the possible options. To make this go even quicker, I'm going to have you do, you do number one, you do number two, just you come up with the answer. Okay? To who? Whom? With the preposition on the front. I promise you I'm going to stick these on the test. And you've got, you've got to be able to do this. Okay? And, and I think you can. I'm not trying to scare you. You're doing great. All right, who's got three? Katsuya? Person whom I spoke to, C, or D, to whom I spoke, um, uh -huh. or E, who I spoke to him. 
Uh, can you put E in there? And E? No. What's wrong with E? Yeah, subject. Uh, yeah, the hem. You can't have the hem in there. Mm, well, so that's wrong. What is the uh, subject pronoun? Okay, let's take them one at a time. How about A? The person which I spoke to. Well, yeah, it's good. Which yes, it's good. It's good. That's it's good. good. That's good. The no, person right. to which I spoke. Person and which. So we can't say B is okay. To you can say to which. No. Oh, wait a minute, you can't. I cannot. It's for things, teacher. It's for things. You're right. Get rid of B. Just D. C. What about C? The person C. whom I spoke to. It's work. It's work. You can, remember, you can use for a person. That's how D. It's okay. So C is okay. D. To whom I spoke, okay, okay, okay. that one's okay I, too. I, I, yeah. D is okay, D tell C is not okay, because when we use whom, we have to use before or two, I think. You don't I have think. to. It's the only one that you can use it before, but remember, up here it's an option both ways if, if it's on the end. Yeah. Alright? It's possible. B is correct. Uh, yeah. To, no, uh, no, 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 no. C, B, no. Because it's a person. Okay, C, C, D. G no I. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's A is okay. No. No. Yes. Yes. No. 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 It's she. G. Which? Who has the answers? Who? Yeah. You do. Yeah. I do. All right. Help us out. Is A okay? No. No. Is B okay? Why? Okay. Why is A not okay? The person. The person. So we we can use which. You can't use which for the person. Is B okay? No. No. Same Which problem? Yeah. So it's C and C and C D. Okay. But I don't know how much it's E. E, huh, uh, huh. Uh, e has the hem. You got to get rid of the hem. So okay. that's a problem. So if what about F? No. Yeah. Uh, no. Yes. No. no. With a person, it's got to be. No. 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 It's not uh, home. Two. Just home. home. Yeah. So F is a problem. You can't say to who. You have to say to oh, no. whom. Alright, so F is not good. Get rid of it. G. Yes. Okay. okay. H. No. No. Why? It's got to be home. Alright. I. I spoke. You can do that. J. No. No, because of the hem. Whew. Everybody okay? Yes. Alright, four. Who had four? Go ahead. This is the expression. Uh -huh. which, yeah. which I was re referring? referring referring to. So A is okay. Yes, it is okay. And yeah. B okay. to which I was referring. Yep, B is okay. Okay. F that I was referring. Wait a minute, do them in order. Do C. What's wrong with C? Uh, whom? Yeah, whom? You can't use whom with an explanation. Yeah. What's wrong with D? Same thing, right? Yeah, same cool. thing. What's wrong with E? E. Because it. Good, because of the it. All right, so keep going. F that I was referring to. Good. That one's good. It's okay. Yeah, F is correct. G, no. the problem is no. to that. Because uh, it's Hold on. He, woo, he, he. Hold on, he's talking. <laughs> Let him talk. All right. The problem is to that. I'm excited. To that, good. What's wrong with to that? I like to that. Don't you like to that? Uh, only to which? Yes, thank you. G is a problem. You can't put the preposition in front of a that with a thing. All right, H. H. Which, uh, I was yeah. re referring to correct. Correct. Why yeah. it's not G? G is incorrect. Why was it? G so, uh, only on, to which? What? Only to which? Yeah, you can only when you're describing a thing. Um, you can only put the preposition before the relative pronoun when you're using which. Only which. Uh -huh. That's right. And I, then I? I was referring to the problem is referring to it. Yeah, the it on the end. Is everybody okay? Yeah. Wow, this is cool once you get it. Yeah. The answers are A, B, F, H. A, B, F, and H. That's right. Everybody okay? Yes. Hey, once you get it, this is cool. I mean, because 
you know, once you get the rules and you can do it. It also makes your English writing and speaking 100% beautiful. Okay? Yeah. G is a problem uh, because of this rule. You can only put the preposition in front of... Yep. Yeah, the problem is this little rule, though, when the preposition is up front, when, it, when you're referring to a thing, the only one you can put the preposition up front in front of is a which. Over here, when you're referring to a person, the only time you can put the preposition up front is with a whom. And really, that's the most important point. Remember whom, preposition can go in the front. Remember with a, when a thing, you're talking about a thing, the preposition can only go up front with a which. Okay? Get rid of the object of the preposition, the pronoun, and get rid of, well, that's it. That's all I'm going to say. If you know those things, you should.